Hello guys, I extended my Blender 2.8 add-on BL UI so that it can add widgets now to draggable panels. Let me show you how this looks like, you can press Ctrl, Shift and F to activate the operator and the panel will appear that you can drag around and the buttons that are added to this panel will follow. When I press the buttons, the methods that are registered for these are executed as before. Ok, so let's see how this is implemented in this add-on, which is now version 3.0. I registered a custom operator that is activated by pressing Shift, Ctrl and F. But writing this operator is now really simple, because you can inherit from a base class that I added to the add-on. Here's my custom operator and I import the files for the button, the panel and the base operator from which I derive my operator class. In the init method I created a new panel with a certain size and color and two buttons, one for scaling and one for rotating the active object. And for both I registered methods that are invoked when the buttons are pressed. After that you have to add the created widgets to a list called self widgets that is defined in the base class, but I think I will add a dedicated API for this as I did for the panel. For this you can use the method add widgets to add the buttons to the panel so that they are moved when the panel is dragged by the user. And as I said, here we have the button pressed handlers. In the first one the active object is scaled and in the second one it is rotated. But of course this is just for demonstration and you can add here any code you like. You can get the add-on for free from my GitHub page, I added the link to the description below, but it is a very early state of development, so the API will be changed and extended a lot. I develop my Blender add-ons now using VS Code and an extension by Jacques Lucke, which is called Blender Development. I recorded a video about this already, which is linked in the end screen of this one. I change some code here, press Ctrl, Shift and P, then I use the extension to reload the add-ons and after that you can directly see the changes in Blender. Ok, what also could be interesting for you are the changes that are made for the panel class so that you can add widgets now to the panel. The code is quite simple. I implemented a method called addWidgets in that the parameter widgets is assigned to a member variable and then the method layoutWidgets is called in which I just iterate over this list and call the update method where I reassign the x and y screen coordinates of the widget so that it is positioned relative to the panel. And I also call this method when the panel is dragged so that the child widgets are moving as well. Alright guys, I hope you like this one, the next widget that I would like to add is a slider, here you can see a short preview of the design, I will come up with a video about this when it is implemented. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like it, add your ideas or questions to the comments below and if you want to support me and help this channel grow then think about being my patron. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.